an app that detects cancer, but how well does it work? Studies show that most cancers in the United States are on the decline, except for skin cancer. With those rising rates, more people are turning to technology for medical advice. KITV's Karen Kiley joins us live tonight with a warning from doctors about some smartphone apps that could actually do more harm than good. Karen? And Ron, there are plenty of these apps available. Many of them are free and they're pretty easy to use. It just requires you to take a picture of your skin, a mole or a sunspot that you're concerned about, and then send it away to be analyzed. Now, doctors say the problem is that you can't trust these results. They say they're often misleading. Mine just came back, said, looks good, no cancer here. Doctors say believing this is not good for your health. It doesn't have to be summertime for skin cancer to be a concern. Mr. McClure? How are you, sir? I'm just wonderful. Feeling good. McClure is at Sonova Dermatology for a follow-up appointment from skin cancer surgery. He had two skin cancers. He had one skin cancer on his ear and he had one skin cancer on his scalp. And I didn't know her. But instead of seeing a doctor, some people are turning to their smartphone and with the snap of a picture, getting diagnosed on their skin cancer risk. With insurance the way it is nowadays, with the increasing health care costs, people are using this to replace going to see a doctor. A dangerous idea, says Dr. Adam Mamalak, because a recent study by the University of Pittsburgh shows these skin cancer predicting apps get it wrong most of the time. These apps were highly variable. One of them only predicted about 7% of the melanomas. The apps typically work by analyzing a picture sent in by the user. Some use real doctors, others a computer, to make a decision on whether or not it's cancerous. But in three out of four apps tested, over 70% classify dangerous melanoma as non-cancerous. If a computer program misses a skin cancer, it could be devastating to a person. I mean, this could be the difference between life and death. I'm lucky they didn't take my ear off. So when it comes to skin cancer, Dr. Mamalak says nothing can replace that face-to-face -face office visit. I think we got these ones in time. I don't suspect these are going to give him any more trouble. Now, doctors do say not all apps having to do with skin cancer are bad. They say there are great apps that help you keep track of your moles and alert you to any changes or ones that might tell you uh, to use sunscreen or if the UV rays are dangerous and you're at more of a risk for a sunburn. They say those apps are great. The problem that they have comes in when an app is telling you yes or no on your skin cancer risk. Reporting live, Karen Kiley, KITV News.